hello everyone today i am talking about nosocomial infection so hospital infection and hospital acute infection is the same question answer also same answer if we studied about nosocomial infection answer we can write for three question and same answer so wasting much time we'll start the video So if they asked in exam about nosocomial infection, we should write first definition about nosocomial infection. So, so very simple words and a very simple sentence we should write and we should underline important points and important words. Okay. So very, very easy definition. So if the term of hospital infection, hospital acute infection under nosocomial infection in bracket from infect nosocomial meaning is hospital infection or applied to infection developing in hospital or pre not present or intubation in admission at a present of admission patient admission so you have to underline that words infection developing in hospital not present or intubation at a time of patient admission so you have to underline that words okay very very simple words you have to write without skipping any words definition okay so second point in source of infection so very simple types two types exogenous and endogenous exogenous is cross infection and environmental infection so environmental infection is the uh, very very simple only everybody can understand so cross infection is the from other patient from other person will get infection that is called the cross infection environmental inf infection is the very simple from environment like a uh, floor so building service equipment from equipment will get infection so that is called the inf uh, environmental infection so you have to write two points and you should write, should underline okay so second point is endogenous infection so endogenous point also very easy only that is self infection so endogenous is self infection will get our self infection so how will get self infection means if we are doing in a hospital staff if we are doing working in hospital or working staff if any any work if we do in hospital will get infection so ourself so from patient to patient also will get and from ourself also will get that is called the endogenous so third point is organism causing my hospital infection okay so organism names you should write so five organism name you if you write that's enough first point is stephalorius uh, so second one is pseudomonas species tetanus species viral infection you have to write any four viral infection names and fungus and parasite infection so parasite infection also any write any two names okay so fourth one is root of transmission how will get how will uh, transmit hospital infection so that points we we should write so first point is contact so contact is direct and indirect direct contact is very simple spread from person to person that is organ what organism will spread means uh, example is staphylococcus indirect contact will spread by contaminated hands and equipments from that so that is example for endobacteria um, endobacteria species okay so you have to write points by examples so organism names if you write for example that's very perfect answer will give you in exam okay so second point is airborne spreading okay so that is uh, droplets dust and aerosols droplets everybody know i think so dust is very simple spread from building service or floors anything from from dust will get so what organism will affect for us means uh, staphylococcus aureus and pseudomonas okay so that examples you should write so third one is aerosols produced by so aerosols where it will produce means nebulizer humidifiers so for that example is legunia hemophilia okay that example is you should write so if you write examples that is perfect answer will give you in exam so third point is oral route so oral route very simple everybody know about that so from oral will get infection that is called the 
so which organism will spread means e coli so for that example we should write so fourth one is parental root parental root will uh, everybody know i think uh, transmission blood transmission tissue donating so contaminated blood transmission blood produ products so that things if we do means uh, which virus will spread means example hiv hepatitis b and hepatitis c okay fifth point is self infection and cross infection i told about self infection and cross infection before before points in endogenous exogenous points if you want to explain that also you can write that is best sixth point is vector borne so that is throw by mosquito flies under rats so vector means everybody know that will spread from animals mosquito flies so that is vector borne so you have to write that is that points okay if you write root of transmission that's enough good points that is we can write only also you should write six point okay so then types of infection so types of hospital infection and common hospital acute infection so for that six point is there urinary tract infection respiratory infection wood skin species infection and gastrointestinal infection burns infection bactericemia and septicemia six question six infection is very important if you want to explain about this you can explain in exam so that is also very good but if you if you if you if you write this point it's enough so then diagnosis of hospital infection and control how we have to control of hospital infection so that is very important so very very important step is preventing step is very important so that point you have to write first we have to recognize the hospital policies and we can prevent the hospital infection so that points you have to write then uh, under etiology diagnosis very simple first point you have to write um, what we'll do if we took specimen for hospital infection testing what we'll do first we will do um, culture identification and sensitivity testing so that three points you have to write and underline uh, then um, second point in source of source should be identified eliminated required sample is possible for hospital infection second point and we have to memory i think this points uh, third point is typical isolation phase so antibiotic and or typing from cases so this things we should uh, memory so this is very important that's it so controlling of hospital infection is uh, we have to prevent we should uh, we should uh, hospital organization is the responsible of good management of the hospital infection it's very very good prevent to control the hospital infection and second point is icc infection control committed so this is um, every hospital we should uh, see infection control committed policies and consist medical microbiology so this point consists of medical microbiology so control is two point is there so you should write without skipping any word okay so this is very important then uh, we have to see about um, prevention my favorite point prevention so very very simple we can write by own also so first point is sterilization which things we will sterile in hospital that things you have to write example sterile instruments a surgical gloves uh, face mask everything so second one is cleaning and disinfection so cleaning and disinfection will will do for hospital which things walls floors everything will clean so disinfection will use for that okay so that points you have to write so third point is skin skin antiseptica skin disinfection and antiseptica so i think everybody know antiseptic you have to write that points also uh, under that points you can write explanation also so fifth point is rational antibiotics prophylaxis so fifth one is protective clothing isolation source isolation and protective isolation and equipment uh, uh, and uh, personally we have to prevent uh, so how means uh, hepatitis vaccine vaccine we have to take uh, uh, then monitoring the patient those that things we should uh, uh, remember so that is prevention so very very simple very very easy points prevention so we can write by own self also this points and all 
um so very very easy points prevention so if we write the strain points that's enough so very easy points if they asked about nosocomial infection you can write very easily about nosocomial infection so now we'll revise about nosocomial infection if they asked nosocomial infection we should write first definition second source of infection third microorganism causing hospital infection fourth one is route of transmission fifth one is types of hospital infection Sixth one is diagnosis and control. Seventh one is prevention. Sorry, I didn't write correctly. Um, serial number. Uh, so if they ask in exam about nosocomial infection, so don't miss this question. Very very simple and very very easy. We can write by own self also. So finally, if you like this video, please click on thumb and share and subscribe. And uh, thank you.